use best choice software in accomplishing your goals. Now, making money in the markets. The secret to making money and being successful in the markets is making a correct decision today about a future market movement, and of course you must trade it. It doesn't do you any good if you're right all the time and you're not pushing the buttons and having money on that trade. It's not a question of could I, should I, would I. We want to know when to do it. We need to know the factors involved. But here's always the question. How can I make a correct decision to t today before the move happens? This is the, the biggest problem all traders have. This is the, the dilemma of all traders. So you bought best choice to be on the winning side of the move, didn't you? Well, here, here's what, what I considered. That basically when I boil it down, there's only two possible outcomes of the future. First of all, there's unknown events like September 11th. There's going to be a lot of unknown events. The Fed makes a decision. These things, planning ahead of time, what's going to happen, speculating about it. It's easy to be wrong because you just don't know. But the second type of event is a repeating event. Think about Christmas. It happens at the same time every year. We know the effect that it has on the retailing stocks. Are oil stocks affected by Christmas? No. So certain events occur on a regular basis that affect specific securities. And this is our guide to success. So we want to find success in trading by finding and identifying and trading repeating patterns. Now, seasonality, very important tool. It was built about five years ago. Um, I thought about it and, and how important it is. I, ha I used to own a series of jewelry stores and I would find at Christmas time, wow, I sold a lot of jewelry. In the summer months, nothing happened. Nobody was walking in my doors. It was a loser. Six months in the summertime. So this is the way the stock market, this is the way securities work. You got to know when to play the game. Got to be when, when you should be on board and when forget about it. Uh, George was telling me this past year when volatility was so high, I'm not going to play that game. It's, it's a fool's game to play when the volatility starts dropping on you. And I'll talk about that in a few minutes. So you want a high probability of success. That's what seasonality tells us. You need to know now what to trade tomorrow, next week, or next month. So let me show you an example. Of course, the Dow Industrial Average. We're, we're approaching a very significant time. What's happened the last uh, eight trading days? The Dow's been down seven out of eight trading days, right? It normally happens this time of year. Is that anything unusual? No. You know, if you have the seasonality, you should know that. Okay. So we see in September and October, it's normally the worst time of the year, but Come October 27th through the 14th, 32 out of 37 years, the Dow has gone up. We're approaching a very good time of the year. And of course, like Sonny said, the blue lines are the history. In the case of the Dow, I'm showing you 40 years of history. Uh, the yellow line is the composite movement. That's what we want to focus on. And the white area gives us information that, that is shown in the legend to the right. There, I've, I've highlighted it for you. 86% of the time. And there's no other technical tool out there that uses the entire history of a security to make a prediction. Think about that. Stochastics, you know, uh, RSI,